Okay, today we are... I've actually did an unboxing of this video before. If you want to see that, I'll put up the link here. It's only now that I've been... Um, that I am able to see and play with these new drippers that we have. Okay, this is the Zero... Huh. This is the Zero Variable Speed Dripper. As the name suggests, it has the ability to do an immersion um, brew. Just like the switch that you can turn on and off your drawdown, this particular dripper from Zero has the ability to do so and more. Okay, so the way it works is it has um, two different holes under. And you can actually turn this part, this part right here, to turn that actuation under. So you, as you can see, there is, there are holes under here. And then if you, if you turn that um, counterclockwise once, then you have your, um, then you open just one hole and then if you open it all the way then you open two holes which makes the drawdown a lot faster so today we're gonna try brewing with it okay we're gonna need the kalita filter for this one because it's a flat bottom uh, dripper i'm not sure if i'm not sure about the actual dose that is recommended for this dripper because Everything on the packaging is in Chinese. Um, yeah, the paper inside is all in Chinese. Let's get our coffee. For this coffee, we're gonna use Ethiopia Hamasho from Leaves Coffee. Okay. For the purpose of trying to slow down or speed up the drawdown, we're gonna do a coarse grind size so let's do maybe 24 on the commandante we're gonna wet this um, paper filter all right and just make sure that you have you've drained all the water out of that Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna treat it like a, a Hario switch. So for the first pour, I'm gonna let it go down. And for the second pour, we're gonna do a steep. And then for the third pour, I'm gonna try to steep and then slowly release and then fully release, all right? Just so we can actually see if there is an effect, all right? And yes, it is going through and it's a bit slow. All right, so I think it's a good idea that we used a coarse ground, a coarse grind size. Okay, now for the second pour, we're gonna do, as I've said, we're gonna do an immersion. So we're gonna close it. All right, and then we're gonna pour up to 100 ml. Make sure you sink all those floating coffee grounds. There. Shake it a little. Oh, you can actually see those um, coffee grounds that are floating. So, I think it's a good idea to try and stir it. So we can get more agitation out of the coffee. Okay, that's 30 seconds. And then let's open it all the way to two holes. Hmm. 
Okay, so that took 15 seconds to completely go down. So I'm gonna close it again, and then we're gonna pour another 100 ml to complete the 200 ml ratio. Okay, so for the last pour, um, I'm gonna stir it just a little bit and make sure that the coffee grounds are under. Okay, and then we're gonna do the one whole um, release only. So we're gonna open it to a single hole. So right now it is going down very slow, but we are sure that all the coffee grounds are under. So all your water is here and we are sure that all the water, all the brewing water is passing through the coffee bed. And now we're, we're going to close it again to make sure that it's not dripping when we lift it. All right. Now let's taste it. Mm, the color looks really nice. It's not too cloudy and it's not so clear. It has a very thin body, but it's very sweet. And it's almost over extracted. So I guess we kind of prolonged that steep there. Maybe it's a nice idea to just let the coffee settle and then releasing it. Maybe on the third pour, maybe I just, I should have just let it open. The clarity is really nice, but the body is very thin, so maybe play with it a little more until we can actually perfect how to use this, right? Um, it's actually quite clever because you have the option to open just one if you want a slower drawdown and open two holes if you want it faster. And I think it's very beneficial if you use it in competitions or like for for coffees that you are brewing for the first time because you can actually modulate how fast the water will go down. It's almost the size of a regular Aurea. Right? Same height, almost the same height, but it has the mechanism to um, do an immersion brew. As compared to the switch or the clever dripper or an AeroPress or the Pulsar is incredibly big. It's really big. It's almost the size of this mug, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a I think this is a really nice product from Zero. I think this is a really nice um, dripper for like competitions and just basically anything because it's really small it's very versatile and and it has the power of more than one dripper for a really small package um i would say i would i would put this side by side with the aurea v4 yeah with the ability to change on the fly right um yes i i really enjoyed this um I will be doing more videos with this and maybe a master class in the future once I finally figure out the best way to use this. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!